Ahoy, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Here is the mighty Drakir at your service, the mightiest of all lieutenants. And we got an. Wait, what? We got a. Hmm? You follow? What? Oh! <laughs> That's. Marco raided us! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to Doom Eternal, uh, where we'll be continuing and possibly finishing the Agent Gods uh, DLC with, well, part two. And, yeah, <laughs> let's just get started on this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What we're doing is we're basically... Uh, we're basically looking for a way back to hell. Yep. Since well, we couldn't <laughs> we couldn't off the Dark Lord on the spot out of ammo. Bad timing on that. Actually, there we go. Uh, I'm like uh, I'm liking some damn it. I'm liking some of the enemies that they added, like the stone imps and such. But there is still a lot of BS with some of the things they've done here and there. Stupid snakes. At least it seems they've given up on the invisible uh, whiplashes. So luckily those were they seem to have been a one-time thing. Hopefully. But I do wonder if the pandemic had not happened. Would these previous been better made? Oh, but that would probably be made made, hopefully. Probably, yeah. That it's wasted. What? what? What the heck was it doing there? You know what? But I don't know that when in the games, but even they could slow down the pandemic. Maybe they tried better. Most probably do. They were not massive teams. Yeah, so they had little uh, or less trouble when people had to isolate a oh, big boy. Yeah, it was not. You didn't need either have to do the whole meeting of the meeting with each and every single group. Like it was yeah. much more group. <laughs> okay, apparently I, <laughs> you need to pull us a, a precision shot on that. And yeah, apparently that, that happened to a bigger company. Oh boy, with 200 employees? Yeah. That's a communication nightmare. Okay, what is recharged? There's a prowler going around. There we go. We also got this nice little hammer now. <laughs> Just before he got his armor back. Yep. And there's the first bonk of the day. And... Is that it? Okay. It was a bit sudden. Especially with the zombies still walking around. Typically they just drop dead. Or... Are you being counted as a threat again? Let's see. Okay. Up and that way. Yeah, another thing that I think signifies that the pandemic did have an effect on the work of this game is that in the main game we often got a little cinematic showing of where we needed to go after a more complex arena like that. Though not always, I think. I might be wrong on that. Yeah. And this just looked back. But it did also be a bit rushed. Like, it, it started quite a bit of bang, and the story is decent, but it still feels like it. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm being blind. It was rushed and not given enough polish it needed, and as this one, we almost already done with this DLC. Yeah, there we go. That was short on time. Go number two. 
Oh, go hello, big boy. Oh. Okay, at least, I've said before, at least these riot shielders are, are easily taken care of. Okay. Does that actually hurt them if they get stuck in that? Probably not. <laughs> well, I think they actually did take a hit there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, not that. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. And there we go. It's a bit of a uh, You know what? I don't know where I'll go with that. <laughs> But, yeah, I know I was making Itsy Bitsy Spider you, but uh, I always got to fall through that. Yeah. Yep, uh, I'm here. And, and as I just realized, probably that also helps me the indie developers. Just many publishers with many indie developers are a bit more. Down to earth, if that makes sense? Uh, yeah. yeah. Indie they developers they, they typically have less money invested in something, so if something does go wrong, it's less of a loss if it goes wrong. Yeah, and they're probably also able to use that as an advantage to know that, alright, but let them finish the game. You don't give it a deadline. But they know if, if the game is finished and done well, more money that way. Yeah. This reminds me. I heard something. You know my theory of all was the most developing that really dropped in the money for snail games. Yeah. Apparently, snail games is broke. <laughs> okay. And they need to borrow money to finish Ark Ascended in Ark 2. Yeah, though, from what all I've heard with all the scammy stuff they've been pulling, I'm honestly not surprised in the absolute slightest with that. Yeah, and this one that makes me worry, like, all the uh, fucking uh, money, but nobody is going to snail games is actually going to end up breaking them due to their own greed. Well, here was saying that we've probably seen the last of these fuckers, but apparently not. I don't know, is it supposed to or is that a bug? I doubt it's a bug that they're invisible. That would be a pretty big bug. But they're not true invisible, if you get what I mean. But you can yeah. still see them. Okay. Hello, and goodbye. There we go. And the bunk. <laughs> okay. Okay, for... Oh. Hold a sec. Oh, come here. Okay. This is an automated alert. The gate of Deboom is offline. Please reschedule further testing until power has been restored. Wait, people have been test having running experiments with that thing? Oh, I I think I see why. Since it's a you know, since it's a gateway straight into Hell's capital, some part of the USC is probably trying to open it to, well, restart the invasion. Oh, no. Ah. No, wait, I didn't get to get rid of it completely. There we go. Okay, it has its moment of immunity. Mm. 
There we go. Oops. Okay, that actually... Oh, come on, another one. It's... There you are. Uh, oh, damn it. Wait, there it is. Okay. This is really... These things are really annoying, especially when there's so much verticality. Since they can easily get away. Okay. Come here, you fucking thing. This is not fun. So, beyond the invisible uh, whiplashes, I'd say that this, those cursed things are the worst idea they had for this. Yeah, uh, I've been mainly this at this all. Actually, yeah, I've been mainly so many bull battles all through the damn pandemic sense. There was a bit where these a bit out of the time to test them and ping things through, they just throw them in with not realizing it's less fun and more annoying. Yeah. Or less of a challenge, it's more uh, annoying in some cases, I guess you could say. Them for what good is bad because you see what's wrong, but we also understand why it happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not playing this stuff too much. <laughs> okay, you're getting some free nibbles. Thing for that to happen to the face. Very. <laughs> oh, hello. Alright, weak points on the possessed ones regenerates. I'd forgotten about that. Okay. Time to do a breaking to a bit yeah, time to do a breaking bad and cook. Uh oh. Wait, what? Since that's there's a meme with that show we, uh, that goes uh, like we need to cook or Jesse we need to cook or something like that. I've never actually watched it. Uh, wait, what uh, fuck uh, I think I heard what the meme just I feel like you'd use the, the meme at the wrong point. Okay, I think I got the art trial with that. I'm still a bit used... One thing that they changed from 2016 that I... that I do in general like, but does mess with my muscle memory, is that they removed the pistol. Since, well, it's a Doom game, uh, you're not going to have much use of a pistol. But because of that, I keep hitting the 2 button whenever I want to go to the shotgun instead. Actually, there. Yeah. I think it might be the first Doom game without a pistol. Could be. Yeah. Uh. But because of the uh, chainsaw reloading, there's no need for a fallback you know, weapon. No, two specters. Oh, and a tyrant. Okay. Pinky piss off. Spectre, but oh well, it just...
What a good idea. Put a pinky pinky finger and then put it to that bit. Oops, guys. I think that was a new one. Oop. Collateral damage, but I'll take it. And taking another bull by the horn. Hello. Okay, now this should only be you. Knock! <laughs> Come on down. Yep. Yep, hello. <laughs> yeah, with that quick swap trick, it's best to do it with these two, I'd say. Okay, who else is left? Anyone else? Look like it. I think I may watch any some of those doctors react to doom as uh, glory kills or something. <laughs> okay, yeah, they would definitely have a certain reaction to that. Again, this, again, the zombies getting counted. I just, it's, it's inconsistent. Okay. Uh, uh, hello. Error. Gate of the room offline. Please reinsert authorization command for reactivation. Let's see. The tainted prophecy. Oh, hello. Okay, so. Okay, we know that the Dark Lord could whisper even from his prison. So what did he well did he taint the con maker? Let's see. It was believed by cultist members of the UAC that the creation of the Slayer was guided in secret by the Dark Lord himself. What? He did it to destroy the makers and their world as punishment, his hope to exact revenge on the servant race who had betrayed him. Even without a physical form, the Dark Lord can still have a powerful influence, especially against ones susceptible to corruption. He touched the mind of the Khan Maker, leader of the Maker race, and convincing her that there was a chosen one who would threaten her rule. The Khan set out to find him, paranoid afraid of his, this potential <coughs> hidden threat, the Dark Lord convinced her was close. She would do anything to find and destroy the hidden beast. But, yeah, through, through their search, and their machinations to try and find this uh, hidden threat. They actually created him. Okay. That would actually explain a thing or two about uh, how things got set up. Still doesn't explain what the how the hell the Slayer got into the fortress in the first place and what he'd been doing up there for 12 years. The gate of Divon. The only way into the most ancient part of hell. The Dark Lord is there, waiting for you. He will not allow the city to be overtaken. Like you, they will fight to the end. Oop. We literally get sucked in. Well, in the uh, I have an answer for you. Oh? Is it a comic or something? In the second Doom game, at the ending, he actually throws himself into hell to seek revenge for what they did to Earth. Yeah, and that... And this no, the, the, is the Doom guy. Yes. They have, they have confirmed it. This is the same Doom guy for Doom 1 and 2. And that, that's not what I meant. I meant oh. between, 20, between Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, how did he end oh. up in the fortress <laughs> up in space? Oh, that... Did, but didn't he answer that somewhere? I don't think so, or maybe I missed it. Or be forgotten. Could be. Let's see. Imora. The final battle has begun. Using the Gate of the Room to access the Heart of Hell, the Slayer now stands before the Gates of Imora, ready to face the Dark Lords. Armies now gather as the Dark Realm prepares for war, and the coming conflict will decide the fate of all. This looks a bit like uh, Urdak, doesn't it? Similar style, different colors. 
and a bit more grim. Yeah. Compensating a bit. Uh, uh, wait, are these night sentinels that turned? <laughs> <laughs> Even a freaking titan. Like, and as big and strong as those things are, they are also slow as all hell. Right. Scared you can't take me one on one. Oh, hello. Hello, Valen. I thought you were dead. <laughs> well, this is our endgame moment, isn't it? was going to say a thing earlier or I wanted to say one earlier like that's this the DLC is also a lot lighter on the cutscenes and all of that but I think I now know where all the where all the budget for the cutscenes went <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. I don't remember people loving this part this is the cutscenes okay one little question that I do have to ask is how did they get here? Because we, didn't we pretty much come through the only way in? Or did we just break a seal again? Let's see. Hmm. The false salvation. It's, yep, yep. <clears throat> That's that divinity machine. Let's see. The Dark Lord guided the hand of the con maker as she directed the creation of the divinity machine. I actually got the name right, huh? Uh, the father had saved an element of the Dark Lord before he betrayed him and went into hiding, for he was reluctant to destroy all parts of his creator. This piece of the Dark Lord remained sealed within the coffin, uh, coffins of Urdak. Knowing this, the Dark Lord guided the conmaker to it, and she, took, uh, and she took its discovery as a sign of from a higher power. She descended from the mountains of uh, Anchorman with the shard needed to power the divinity machine they had created to save all worlds. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's what, that's what powered it. So, hmm. In a way, we've got a bit of a Voldemort situation here in that, uh, <laughs> in that the Doomslayer was infused with some of the Dark Lord's power, and that's made what made him the Slayer, the Immortal Slayer. Uh. Yeah, you bet. I hit at the side of a ship. <laughs> I think some of those, some of the people in Red Armor, like some of them were in the of a, some of them might have been UAC Red Guards, or whatever they were called. No, Elite Guards. Elite Guards, yeah. 
Okay, let's escalate the situation. Oh, hello there. A prowler. Come here. I, I, I do like the layered damage system that they put in for this game. That is really good. I'm pretty sure the only game I can really think of other than that that's used something like that has been Dead Island 2 recently. No, you freaking don't. Next. Oop, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, wait, I broke your arm. Shoot already. Okay, just mow you down. Mm. Have armor. Good monster, how much time? Count. I mean, count. Uh, that, that has partial. Uh, Okay, game got deselected for some reason. That, that has body parts uh, damage, yeah, but more like the layers of skin and such that you can just break through with this. Ooh, that's a new one. You, but not many indeed. I'll show your critical damage. The moment I'm not out of ammo, that is. <laughs> they pop as well. <laughs> okay, I only noticed that now. Come here. Pop goes down <laughs> nah, I meant these. <laughs> Another of you. Oh yeah, don't go to the drone. Yeah, I had a bit of a lag there. I missed that part. Uh, yep. Yeah, I do suspect that this game do so far that this could actually have trouble with it. Like, every stream, Daily Diver, no problem. But Doom Game? Doom Game, the, this could kind of struggle with at times uh, with the FPS, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Shot in between its hovering legs. Okay, it's been a bit since we've used these. Miss Alvarez! Go, Surf Snake! Meter hop head. I, I thought it was closer to the end. Okay, here it makes full sense that there's longer combat net encounters like this. Because, well, <laughs> we're in the heart of hell. Yeah, wait. Those who the earlier levels were, I say, pre-preparation for them. I guess. Still a bit overly long here and there, especially that first fight on the, uh, hmm. yeah. on the oil rig, but, yeah. You'll need to get over those walls to continue the assault. With, every, with everything else, I'll be a bit more lenient on it. Oh yeah, right. Let's see, require all Sentinel Hammer upgrades. Let's see, dazed for a longer time. Okay. I'm definitely hoping we'll get to see the, the Sentinel Hammer more often in other games. Yes, yes, I have no intention of going for that again. And if the next game is prequel, as in before him, uh, 
2016 Or whatever It has even been before uh, Ancient Gala, like the, the 12 year gap Will we be able to have the helmet then? Uh, if it takes place while he's with the Sentinels, it wouldn't, I think. That could work. And yeah, 2016 starts already with a good reason for resetting anything that he might get in that game, since, well, he gets locked up in a coffin. So that's the best excuse for a bag of spilling trope that I can think of. There would end up with a bit of boo that... It would end up with a bit of a downer if you, if that game would end with uh, you getting trapped in said coffin. But such is the thing with prequels sometimes. Uh, sometimes to for, to uh, yeah line things up with uh, the other games, they well they're rather they can be rather limited in some fashions. Oh, yep. Actually, yeah. There's no need to do that on a zombie. This survivor is fully understandable. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. This box? Yep. yep. I just realized some com call. Oh. Have these two DLCs not been DLCs, but the separate games? Mm -hmm. Were well, these two ancient gods actually been side quest grind material? And uh, they could have been released as a lower priced game, I guess, since. It's actually, you, the last one was like, what, four hours and we're a less, a bit, oh, if we finish this, it'll be, uh, yes, some three hours on this one. I'm, yeah. yeah, for me, the other one was like, oh, five hours? Uh, more than and that, the but that we slowed down a lot. Was longer? Uh, oh, I should probably say this. Once we finish this Doom game, we will move Dave Diver to main quest. Yeah. Is a really a main quest game if it's accidentally put as a side quest. Yeah. yeah. Why are these respawning? There's nothing big for me to kill here. But yeah, Dawn of War is next on the list, but we've been going with Dave the Diver so long that I think we can put that up front now. Not to get yeah. it over with or anything, Unless... but <laughs> yeah, to just have more time to make progress with it as well. And do other stuff as well. Yeah. Why are you two respawning? So you're gonna... You're gonna have... They do have a, a one new Cyclist game prepared to go alongside Evil Land. But once Dave Diver is done... Once... I repeat it. Once Dave the Diver is done... Yeah. We will move to Dawn of War. Yep. I'm a bit unsure still on if to do uh, Winter Assault. And this just feels like cheap yeah, farming of this, so I... Seriously, what is going on here? Oh, yeah, I'm still a bit unsure about Winter Assault, since each campaign is only about five missions long. And, well, uh, a bit more than that, technically. Technically, a... Uh, let's... 
both there's two campaigns in it, each of which is five missions long. Though at the fourth mission each is where you can split things off to either well, one of the two factions involved. Seriously, what is going on here? There's clearly something wrong. Something is supposed to spawn up there. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit unsure about you know, Winter Assault. We'll see what go what will happen with that. And yeah, I think something's glitched. Okay, low checkpoints. Okay. Ow. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm somehow I somehow missed the trigger or something. But that's a bit of a big bug. And I'm not talking about the Ragnatron. A bit of a concerning bug. Did something intercept that? Don't you know anything about it for how long this has been out? You would have expected to have fixed that by now. Yeah. Oh wait, does it manifest that own id software now? I'm not sure. Oh wait, okay. you need to would be happy to test us logo on startup here at the yeah. start of the game. <laughs> that could explain why it has some bug still. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if that's actually is a meme or is actually true. Uh, well, Bethesda does tend to release games that are pretty buggy. Also, I like how the, the cursor turns along with the barrels in the gun itself. Come on, you're just putting a little something up next to the thing to be a nuisance. What jerks on you? And some sort of hell tank? Oh, come on. Yeah, I I'm not a fan of these movement limiting bits. I don't think most people are, though there's different, different tolerance to move movement inducing effects. But some games you can tolerate, but other games it's just too quick into gameplay to be fun or shallow. Yeah. This sucks it out, basically. Especially since a large part of your survival in this game is from just moving around. So stuff that removes that, like the curse and the goop, that's, yeah, that's just, at best a bad idea, at worst just absolutely dickish outright. So yeah, I'm coming there some games, games. They, when they do that, but it's bad with some is when you get slow down and you, it means you always will die. But you're supposed to be able to at least have some shots of survival. <laughs> Once again, we're using ourselves as a... <laughs> you had no idea yes. Hell had their own technology. It must have been centralized here, like some kind of ruling elite. Let's see. Hello. The Seed of Doubts. The Makers tested several Sentinel Warriors of Arjun Denur and the Divinity Machine, driving them mad and destroying their souls each time. But the search for the beast continued. On the eve of the Black Star during the Siege of Taras Nabad, a vision took hold of the Khan's servant, Samur Maker. Thoughts of sedition had grown within the loyal Chancellor, poisonous doubts that clouded his faith. The Khan Maker will lead us to ruin, the voice said, and the idea grew. 
Okay, so why why would the Dark Lord want the Slayer Maid? But didn't you say it's an attempt to punish the makers? That as well, yeah. But he must have known that he'd also make his own worst enemy. Oh, hello. Demonic Trooper. Let's see, they cannot be chainsawed or glory killed. Okay. A Moors warrior caste defends the ancient city, keeping watch over the walls since the betrayal of the creator millennia ago. The Imperial Guard of Davos remains an honored position amongst the citizens of, Imor of Imora, wielding armor and weapons forged in the fires of hate and suffering. Their loyalty and devotion to Davos is unwavering, having waited eons for the return of their rightful leader. Okay, so these are the first quote-unquote people. Okay, them not being... It is going to be a little bit of a nonsense. At least in the terms of resources. Oop. But as long as there's other stuff that we can still chainsaw and glory kill, it should be doable. Yeah, it, it, it's odd to see hell technology. Hmm. What that is, was a terrifying uh, in a way. Mm. There we go. What have we here? With? Okay, thank you for the ride. I'm guessing that's the local transit system. Not touching that or that. Okay, uh, two of you, huh? Up to the yeah. No, no, that 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 don't you basically buy your weapons? Sort of, yeah. Or is... Yeah. Or at the absolute least, uh, just father. Gotta be careful not to hit the creatures. Come here. I, I do like the introduction of the creatures. Yeah, since that it, was a bit more clever idea. Yeah, since you need to be so a lot more careful with them around. Yeah, but even if you accidentally kill them, you you yeah. still have a chance to survive. Just it's it's harder, but it's not impossible. Yeah, and it's only temporary. Yeah, so it's not completely unfair. It's just a risk. That's mm -hmm. unacceptable. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you say acceptable risk in this case? Uh, yeah. You could also try popping them all at once to just get it done with. Okay, okay that worked. <laughs> That's that. 
They also serve as quite a chorus for the end of combat. Oh yeah, this is all very Urdax. Definitely showing a link between... Yeah, well, they, the Makers were a servant race made by the Dark Lords, which explained their visits as well underneath the mask and such. Hmm. Okay, where to... There too. And yeah, it would make sense that the makers would lie about being created by the Dark Lord and instead say they were just made directly by the make by the father himself. Yeah, but it, uh, they, they started with more good intentions. But for one, a lot of things collapsed. At least these guys aren't like a really big threat, so I guess that, that count. I guess that counteracts them being unable to be chainsawed and such. Got really put. Why put one here? And okay, f maybe I've had it wrong that empowered demons regenerate their weak points, or did I just fail to, rip to blow them up previously? Maybe? And also, I, I suspect the entire city has been turned into a one giant intended battlefield with the traps and all? Could be, yeah. Let's see, they, they've been since the dawn, now not since the dawn of time, but since close to the dawn of time, they've been, well, waiting to get back at everyone. Oh, hello. I guess that also explains why we finally meet these demons for... We knew this was USA, USA made. USA yeah. I mean. It turns out they are homemade. However, some of these demons, they did not tell us. Yes. They have very, very suspicious advanced armor. So now we know where some of that tech may have come from. Yeah. Like the Cyberman campuses were still USC work. Uh, but I'm... Yeah, I, I think Hell just had no real reason uh, to make their own version. Since they already had other demons of that sort. Uh, yeah, and it probably reserved some of the best armor and such. For the elite of the elite of demons that prove themselves worthy of it. Yeah. Okay. Seems I missed a page somewhere. Or a little bit back. So hopefully I can still jump to that. Over there. Yep. I just realized they probably allow you to see to also armor up the other demons. And, well. More work they don't have to do themselves. Mm. Yeah. Basically, they had cultists to give free of witness country to their demons. Yeah. Also, is it just me, or do those hearts of the Prowlers look the same as the stuff we pull out of Mancubi? Maybe? Could be that demon hearts glow? Yeah, it could be that they are... Most of them glow. Okay. Um, yeah, behind there somewhere is a page. But I don't think I can jump back there. Maybe over there? Get lost. I still think Grumpy that he hid many of the lore pages on these two DLCs. Just this dream for his story, and the lore is part of the story, in a way. There we go. 
also helps us to understand this one and think better when it has some context. Okay. okay. This one I just walked past myself. Let's see. The Rise of the Slayer. Let's see. Samur was blinded with newfound conviction as unbeknownst to him. The voice of the Dark Lord controlled and compelled him to free a stranger from his prison and bring him to the Divinity Machine. Samur knew without knowing that if the machine could destroy a life, it could also empower it with, with blinding ability. The one who would emerge from the machine would stop the reckless con maker from leading his people to ruin. Convinced he was doing what must uh, be done, Samura reversed the polarity of the machine and gave rise to the super being who would stop the con maker and save them all. So, wait. Okay, I know that's reversing polarity on something has is so common that it's become a meme, but basically the thing was designed to kill everyone in it? <laughs> okay. And as you realize, I'm thinking now trying to know what the heck it was. Like, why Samur was so adamant of using hell energy? Yeah, he was being corrupted. Yep. And free. Okay, th this does give us. Uh, might have been our final missing puzzle piece between. Two of the big thing, Samuel and the current Samuel, who is Samur. Could be, yeah. Uh... I'll be understanding it better now. It's because of the Dark Lord. Here we go. Hidden around here. Okay. Hmm. I do wonder if. Oh. I do wonder if his whisperings also play a part in the transmogrification. Critical literature. Collect all. Oh, that's a save. <laughs> Not to say that's a. Blip. That is an achievement. Let's see. The final battle. Okay. Okay, so even the con maker's uh, fall was predicted with this. We didn't actually look at this one. Okay. So something out in the numbers. Look at the entry number. Yeah, six, six, six. <laughs> it came to be as ordained cool. by Samur's vision. The Slayer became the unstoppable force of raids against all evil, but eventually he would turn on his masters and destroy the deceitful Khan once her alliance with the demons had been exposed to him. The corrupted Urdak lay in ruin, and Samur would soon be judged by the very savior he had created, just as the Voth had foreseen. The Dark Lord had forged the bearer of his vengeance through those that had betrayed him. It was the ultimate revenge. His monster would now come for him, and he would have to destroy that which gave him his retribution against the Makers. The Voth would not run, for he knew the beast would find him. They would do battle on sacred platforms where the Dark Lord's minions would lie in wait to observe the outcome. Oh, so he knew this would happen. Mm. Or at least was smart enough to predict that th this was the inevitable outcome. Oh, come on, still running. I just real I have seen that ship a few times, but now only now I realize what it by the shape of the ship. It's an it's upside down cross. Get that motherfucker. Get back here. They, they should don't the curse as a temporary thing, not not that you need to kill whoever cursed you. Out of ammo. Yep. Yeah, and of course there's a freaking blood ink. And, yeah, I guess this also makes, I think, that, yeah, we all, we now also know why the makers count as demons. Yes, well, they are. There's no, there's no ifs or buts about it. 
They were made by the master of all demons. Yeah. Uh, the problem was not to probably step away from the demonhood, and they probably were successful for it if they had a long time, but. Yeah. Come on, do your little trick. Seems the Dark Lord found a way to make them into demons. Now, he made them, so, yeah, as they are originally denizens of hell, they just took up shop somewhere else after they, well, left. Yeah. Oh, of course, you're possessed. They just meant that they were not inherently evil. Well, not most of them were not. But... Yeah, even they were not immune to get corrupted and to, to become evil. Yeah, I think they... I think it's more a case of that they were evil, they were just... trying it to... not be, or be less, so... Yeah, it's a bit of complicated to go into some time to not die. Um, hook this goose. There we go. No, you don't. Go, hello. And goodbye. No, you don't. Okay, you and me. And the peanut gallery, apparently. Come on, do your freaking trick, so I can get rid of, get rid of your armor. Think he's going to? Nope. Why was he walk? Why was he walking backwards there? What is your? Hey, hello there, glacier boy. Give me a sec to finish all of this up. Yep. You doing well today, Glacier Boy? Right here. Let's see. Yeah, we're pretty sure to be finishing this DLC today. Because, well, we literally found all the last of the lore. Oh. That works. <laughs> uh, doing well, I'd say. It was my turn to make uh, dinner again, so I made a uh, Greek kofta. Not sure if, if that's how it actually said in English, but I will. Yep. I'm doing well, quite well today as well. I woke up one hour too early for unknown reasons. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely... <laughs> This is definitely just before the final fight, but just this amount of goodies. Yep. Actually, yep. I think you stepped on a trap. Okay. I think I, yeah, I definitely used that one too early. You're still alive. Okay, just the final minion rush before the end. Come on. 
on. Okay, this is going a bit much with how many of these it's throwing at me. Well, here we go. Before we go up there, let me just grab this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, only the other escalation encounter, which I'm honestly not really interested in. Okay, so he's going to be a level on his own, huh? Ancient gods bear witness as the Slayer and the Dark Lord enact the right of combat before the throne room of Amora, a challenge to determine the fate of existence. Is an oversized crucible on his hip? Stand and fight, Slayer. Oh, you true god. Fight and show me your purpose. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. He used that thing before. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, ooh, he's going to be mobile as hell. Counter the Dark Lord when his eyes flash green. Today is him. Use the Sentinel Hammer to extend. Well, in storage range, moving close, but not too close, to increase the frequency of sword attacks and green eye flashes. Summon wolves will drop sentinel hammer energy when killed. Okay. Wait. He gets... He gets energy for us back? If he hits us with that... Yeah, you have a lot of health bars. Holy. He healed himself somehow there. Okay. This is going to be problematic if he can heal himself like that. At least we get health from him if we hurt him. So it's going to just be a back and forth. Come on. Okay, let's get rid of the first bar. Okay, he doesn't heal from those. Come on, wise guy. Come on. Holy. He's basically an upgraded marauder. There we go. Now, you probably need a bath after being stuck in that orb for who knows how long. 
Let's see. Sentinel Hammer kills all summon demons simultaneously or instantly. Summon wolves will drop hammer energy when killed. Okay. Glory killing zombies will also charge the hammer. Mm. Oh, any attack will stun you. Okay, now you're throwing out grenades. Really obvious with that out. I should realize we are somewhere else now. Are we uh, yeah, we're on Earth. I'm just doing what you made me for, the slay. Now. Okay, he managed to heal himself back to full. Let's do something about that. Oh, come on. What, what did he heal from there? Okay, that attack certainly does that. Ah, stupid grenades. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully without him healing himself. At least he didn't heal from that. Uh, too late. I uh, buy that thing. Not sure if shooting him in the head actually does more damage, but I will. Come on, you. Mm, kind of makes sense. Nope. One more. Oh, oh, come on! He heals that much from a few attacks? Okay, the healing thing we could definitely do without. It is, it could be less effective. Yeah. The only easy difficulty after all. Yeah, so imagine how much he would heal on the higher difficulties. Yeah, the, on the higher difficulty, it might be... It might be heal as possible, but be more aggressive. They could get with the healings more often. Out of the yeah, course, any damage I've done. Yeah, I'm going to full out say that the healing is bullshit. I 
And I get the whole idea is to learn to dodge all of the attacks. Also, fuck you. But still... Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Why are you already... Oh wait, yeah, oh, you're on your own because I will really hold up at four. I'm just living well all the way to the field base. Uh. I can't tell if he heals from the hound attacks or not. Okay, now let's get this round done with. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come on! But the monsters are the other times, not the map. A blue ammo. Oh no. Yeah, this, this started out good, but now because of this healing, it's just boring. Because if you slip up on one of his big attacks, you're back to square one on this, basically. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit healed there instead. Okay, he doesn't seem to heal from those, at least. Yeah, that would just be way too out there. There we go. For too long have I been imprisoned by my own creations. You will not stop my vengeance. Wait, what? They lied to you, Slayer. Amora and its people would have been perfect if not for the treachery of my servants. They sealed me away, stole my power and name. And now the time has come for a reckoning. As all things were made by my hand, so. Okay, so we are actually fighting gods. <laughs> I, I was actually expecting we'd have to fight uh, Vega at some point or another, but uh, this makes sense as well. Uh, yep. Okay, at least he was already at full. Oh, you, you all understood that phrase and a plot twist? It's been hinting at quite a lot. Like the, with the records lying and all that. Yeah. Okay. Fighting them is not worth it. Slamming them is. No, no, no charge now. You. Okay, the annoying thing here is we either use the charge on the demons or on him when he becomes vulnerable, and I add that out of sequence. But it would explain why he was able to, well, do the things he did, like 
whispering whilst he was in prison and such. Wait, where does Vega come into it then? He created Vega. Yeah, I would... Yeah. Oh, well... Vega's the father that Vega became, he created. Okay. Okay, at least I didn't heal him as much this time. Okay, bye-bye. Not nice knowing you, so fuck off and leave me alone. going to be just short, yep. Okay, I'll take those. One more. First reflex is to dodge away because of that attack and such. It has to be about one of the most obvious tells in history. <laughs> yep. Actually, I'm just going to swap. I think the spin up is missing me a few chances here and there. Will you piss off? Bye. Ooh. There we go. more of that should do. Oh, this armor is starting to really give it up now. Okay, last round. Unless he gets a cheap heal off. Did he, did he get a zombie with that or something? I'm sure. Or was it accidentally? Oh, not accidentally. Oh, no, I hit you. Okay. Final round again. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. Bye bye. Just a random zombie in the background. Hello? Oh, come on, back in the fucking box. <laughs> It does make sense since well if he was if he was uh, made into the slayer by the dark lords or the original father's power that technically would make him part demon may the blood on your sword never dry and maybe we never need you again forex entry 717 so does that mean that he is Oh, dedicated to the memory of Robert A. Altman. With our deepest appreciation, respect, and admiration, you will be greatly missed. Okay. There's... Yeah, I, I guess they're not going to say if he is actually dead, dead from that. But we'll see. And that, that also explains why they're going for a prequel first, so they can actually think on any sequel to that longer. But yeah, yeah but they, that was quite an ending. Yeah, but if you can also see the yeah, I know this probably prequel is. How do you chop that? Yeah. <laughs> uh. I think as someone has said they maybe should not have brought in the Dark Lord so early on. They should have brought in some other demon lords they actually had plans for, like Belial and other things. But, yeah, I do feel like they rushed with the idea to go with the Dark Lord. Yeah, and that's, that, that is a bit of a feeling with this DLC in general a bit, uh, because, yeah, just <laughs> Doom Guy fighting the Dark Lord could have been an entire game on its own, not just a DLC. Uh, but yeah, it's the, it could have been partially because of the... It was probably partially because of the pandemic, but some things felt rushed here. Like, this was obviously a lot more buggy than the main game. Yeah. There was there, there really a lot of de devotion and dedication to make it. But I definitely needed more time. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see if uh, the Slayer will be needed again, because uh, there was one lore tablet or page that we said that basically said that uh, 
there is a Slayer verse, there is a Doom multiverse, because uh, actually that would also explain, I think, why we were in that destroyed Earth with demons still flying. Actually, no, there were still demons there, anyways. Uh, just, just trapped. Um, <clears throat> uh, let me. There, there is the timeline or dimension that Doom Guy is originally from, which was also invaded by Hell. Uh, that could be a, an entire thing of its own by him going back there, for example, to clean up <clears throat> clean up the hell that me uh, the mess that hell left there or basically him going uh, multiverse hunting for demons and other shot that's uh, things hmm. possibly and mm, the one little thing about the ending there doesn't really make too much sense because all demons or I guess even in the Do in doom guys case part demon uh, anyone, all of those in hell would have been uh, kept, should have survived, I presume, from what they said. Like, all demons outside of hell would basically get vaporized. But since we were still, or were we still in hell? He, he could have just kicked us out somewhere that wasn't hell. I wasn't paying too much attention to the environment. But yeah, if that last bit I'm was in hell, then Doom Guy should have survived, I think. Or what is this thing? He was in hell, but we don't know what happened to him. Yeah. I'm guessing... I'm, I'm guessing whatever parts of power from the Dark uh, Lord that got infused with him by the Divinity Machine just died out there as well. Yeah, he could have... He could have uh, the, made him fall into a coma or something. Yeah. But likely still alive, at least. Uh, mm, though we we don't know how much of Erdak. I, I'm seeing uh, if they if he was if he was put into a life orb, uh, he would not. They wouldn't have needed the coffin, I think. So physically, he is still there and still in hell. So yeah, he could just wake up from his power nap at some point and start kicking demon ass again. Yeah, even though he has killed the big boys, there are still demons left, so... <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but, yeah, the, the one... Uh, the one spoiler I had gotten, or, or quote-unquote spoiler that I had gotten about this DLC, was that at the end of it, hell would be empty, but that was in inaccurate. Hell is not empty. Just all the demons are trapped in hell, and everywhere else is demon-free. In this timeline slash dimension at least hmm but yeah, yeah any any hinting about the dark lord being your original creator uh, that completely went over my head hey there <laughs> but yeah then again I was busy just shooting and gripping and tearing <laughs> let's see uh, we still have half an hour to go, but I don't want to just pick up another game for half an hour, so I guess we'll be ending early once this is all done. Yeah, and, like... Mm. Have, we, have we finished this half an hour ago? Yeah. I think I were easy, but only... Yeah, what, but what will be going to be 30 minutes? Yeah. Question now is, though... Do we immediately move Dave the Diver into the main space, or the main slot? Or do we still do it in the, this weekend, and then uh, actually ne next week I'll be in London, so no mainstreams. So, yeah, still Dave the Diver this weekend? Yeah, let's do Dave the Diver this weekend, and uh, then uh, when you return, then we yeah. move Dave the Diver. Yeah, then we... Hmm. Oh wait, that means we may have uh, many days of David Diver in a row. Maybe, oh, I will okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let's I, know, I, I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. When you return, we see we will be the weekend next week. Wait, he, we will still yeah. do David Diver this weekend, but next weekend we start with uh, Dust. Yeah, it wasn't it Owl Boil? No, Owl. Owl Boil. Owl Boil. Okay, we said Owlboy or a dust. Da dust. Dust. 
<laughs> okay, since you're having a problem with the name, let's go with Oh Boy then. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm kind of curious, with the end of this, would they have finally put in a after credit scene, maybe? Perhaps that... wait, I need to... Uh, there was a... I think I had one time Joe hooked. Uh, I can imagine your voice acting as the owl boy or something. If we did, I don't Before remember, this but... Theme. Before the streams, as in back maybe uh, around maybe first met and all that. Maybe. Hmm. But yeah, this weekend Dave the Diver. Then the next weekend, uh, the weekend after that, better wording, uh, we start an owl boy. Sounds like a plan. Okay. That we, that we, it's not that we, we don't end the uh, six episodes in a row. Of course, there's only four fingers for that. Hmm. Yeah, six episodes in a row with the uh, dead driver. That might be a little bit overkill. Okay. Hmm. Was I'm counting it wrong? Yeah, I'm just remembering, uh, I'm just realizing a bit of a... Uh, I'm not sure how to call it, but the father is actually more the son. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, actually, uh, the main campaign had an after credit scene, and... Okay. Nature is calling, but I don't really want to head off and miss if there is a, a post credit scene. Uh, actually, hmm. Do I risk heading off and missing it if there is one? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm just going to rush quickly. BRP. One by one! Sweet, but yeah, no, if Hilda has his headphones on, so you could have heard that, or else if you tell him what happened, I guess it didn't read. But... Okay, oh, there it is. Okay, presuming no post credit scene. Uh, I'm so dumb. Hmm. Intern said, uh, thank you for playing, he said he and the devs were thank you all for playing and the hell would not be, would not be much without you and all that. Okay, so just a little message. I'll, I'll look that up on 
uh, on the uh, on YouTube in a bit. Okay. The ooms, uh, end of the own stream as well. Yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, that's. I have no real interest in this or this battle mode and horde mode. But just for the sake of it, let's take another look through all of these skins. Let's see, free Doom guy? Oh, free Doom. <laughs> Come on. Rogor? Uh, oh, that's so, that's so a, a, a Conan <laughs> reference. Maker Slayer? Okay, I did unlock that apparently. This is Silver Dawn. Wait, I think it might actually be a character for somewhere else. Yeah, if it is, I'm not too sure. Let's see any other poses here? Glory, glory. Okay, why is that marked but not unlocked? Uh, let's see. The what are these for? Or is that just oh intro animation? Okay, I'm guessing that's for. Actually, is there? Hmm. Let's. See. And uh, victory and okay, these are for multiplayer with the horde mode and such. And these are just uh, sets for with this. Okay. Uh, let's also take a look through some of these. Sea foam, ultraviolet. Yeah, looks pretty decent with the color scheme, I'd say. Um, these are just all the same. This podium is my podium. This podium is your podium. Okay. Red Knight, we only have default. There's just no others available, apparently. Mancubus. This uh, hot sauce. Hot Docubus. And Pickle. Is that Pickle in a. I'm sort of not surprised. Okay, the Marauder, and yeah, they, they have their own little uh, animation with this. Oh. Sleep well, Glacier Boy, and thank you for joining me. Like, see, you see you later, Glacier Boy. I think it's my stomach. <laughs> my belly is growled loudly. Mm. Okay. Pain Elementals, a Club Lamo. No, I'm. I'm not really seeing it. It's just a slight. It's just a purple and red. Uh, let's see. Okay, I, I will give them points for just doing animations like this. Uh, Revenant, we have Flambeau, which, well, I've taken a look at that one before, it looks pretty nice. And what's with your... Okay. But that'll be that for Doom Eternal, so yeah. Uh, let's exit the game, head over here, and yeah, we're going to look for someone to raid, and yeah, this weekend we'll continue with uh, Dave the Diver and our other weekend stuff, uh, the weekend after we will start with All Boy instead, and yeah, so in two weeks we will get, we will put Dave the Diver on the main sp uh, slot, so in the main week uh, streams. Um, main quest? If we are not done by then, which I somewhat, which I doubt. Okay. Uh, screen share, change window to switch and go live. Okay, let's take a look. I'm nice is streaming Tears of the Kingdom. Pika Girl is streaming Potionomics. Lazarus is playing Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cuts. Uh, that will be where we start with our Sonic streams after we're done with Dawn of War. Uh, Hisaya Razir with Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Grand Wolf is playing Neo again. Shubbers the Moon Seal is playing Demon Souls. 
I'm a flanker is streaming Crusader Kings 3. And last but not least, we have Halloween with Valkyria Chronicles 4. And if those sound of interest, or shall we go look for, yeah, for someone else? We recently raided Hisa, so we should. That's uh, a strike yeah. off. Last year, somewhat we recently as well. We, yeah, we did, we did last year. There is a last year, didn't we? Hmm. Hmm. So. I'm thinking Pika, or you have. A... Yeah. yeah. Halloween or Pika? Uh, let's go poke the Pika then. Okay, since they have just been busy for about half an hour, so there, copy the name, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy, and thank you as always, Rick here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining this madness. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm definitely curious where they could take uh, Doom next with whatever game they'll be doing, even though Bethesda needs to clean up its image a lot since, well, they screwed over the <clears throat> they screwed over the composer for the Doom games recently, and I'm pretty sure he won't be working with them again. I think he did win the, the court case. Okay, so at least he got his money then. And yeah, but so it'll if, be... Uh, uh, if mm -hmm. I heard it's true... Okay, uh, we'll have to see if whatever composer they find next to work for them will be as talented, but we can only see in the future. We can only see that well when the, the next Doom game comes in the future, of course. But for now, let's uh, get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for what. Yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. It was time for zombie seagulls. And the Dark Lord. <laughs> and uh, Zeus drumming. <laughs> <laughs>